So all of a sudden I was preparing for this ultra marathon in, in uh, March to being completely locked down. Everyone's lives were completely changed. And during this period, I started calling my you know, grandmother and talking to her. And I noticed the, every, every day she would become more and more afraid. She was fearful of the coronavirus. She was fearful that she wouldn't see us. Uh, she was no longer able to uh, have family visitors, friends visit her. And she became uh, a, little, a little depressed. So I knew that I had to do uh, something to try to uplift her spirits. One day, my girlfriend, uh, Susan Kaminar, suggested, she said, well, you know, hey, you were scheduled to do the marathon, ultra marathon that, was, that you had to pull out on. Why don't you do an ultra marathon to a non? And she was like, how far is that? I was like, you know, that's like 220 miles. And that's, a, that's a long distance. The most I've ever done was uh, a race through the uh, Sahara Desert, which was uh, 156 miles. I am going to try to run 220 miles to see you, to, to get to Ally. Susan, Susan is going to uh, drive an RV behind me and we'll sleep in the RV and we'll have all of our food in the RV and everything. And I'm going to uh, be able to see you. I won't be able to come inside the building, but I'll be able to see you from the outside of the building So the people who paved the way for us, everything that we have today, um, they paved the way. They made the sacrifices to get us where we are. And now they're the ones who are the most vulnerable. They're the ones who are the most alone and scared. So I, I think it's just a way to give back to the, the people who, who helped us along the way. everything. This is nothing. This is nothing. I love you too, Donna.